Hello, welcome to my room and my giant pile of skirts. Now, I think I did a hangout where I cleaned out my skirt closet and put a bunch of my vintage skirts away because they no longer fit. And I've kind of gone the other way now and I have a bunch of skirts that I think I need to store away because they are slightly too big for me. Or give mum the option of her borrowing them as she's already done with the 9345 denim skirt that I made last year. I need to try everything on and there's a few in here that I need to try and make into some kind of like there, there's some in here that I need gonna need some rescuing and I'll talk more about those when I get there I'm not going to talk through every single skirt because I think that this could end up being an incredibly long video and I want to make a bunch of these because I need to clear out all of my clothes because there is a bunch of stuff that I've made that I don't think is the right colour, so that's why I don't wear it. There's a bunch of stuff that doesn't fit anymore. Mum's already gone through my wardrobe with me on her birthday, and she's walked away with, like, I think 13 items that um, she's borrowing, having for eternity. Also, the way that I like to get dressed, it's the majority is dresses. I just really very rarely wear skirts, so some of these I need to try and work out a way that if it stays in my wardrobe, it gets used. So, without further ado, and too much waffle. I'm gonna start trying stuff on. Fingers crossed some of it will fit. I'll discover things that are awesome and uh, let's see how we go. But now I have to need the, the you know the strip of music. I have got clean slip on people. It is clean. First up my petticoats. I actually made this one to go with a specific dress that really doesn't fit me and wasn't a success so I need to rescue that dress but this one's staying. As is this one that I got from eBay many moons ago. I probably ought to redo the waistband on this though, so this probably ought to go into the alterations pile. Both of these are silk, both of these are ready to wear, Zara and Jigsaw. Love them both, they both easily fit now. I just need to work out what I want to wear with them on top but I like them the same. My only remaining piece of Trashy Diva. I had to give up on the dresses. They were too short in the waist for me. I love this skirt. It's the Jade watercolor. It was for sale in my shop. I haven't taken the tags off of it because I don't know what to wear it with, but it's another one that I want to keep and I want to try and style. Okay, this is the skirt portion of the 8577 and I absolutely love it. It's a calf facet shell bouquet cotton, quilting cotton. It is actually way too big for me at the waist, but that's not the problem with this. I never wear this. This fabric was expensive, so I only bought enough to make a skirt. And then I went back and bought extra to make a shirt to go with it. I think it would be better if I took the waistband off of this, made the 8577 bodice and attached it and just called it a shirt dress because then it, I, I even made, I even made tops to go with this and I just don't wear it as a skirt. So yeah, I'm gonna take this one down to the sewing room. I'm gonna put it in the alterations pile to have the waistband taken off, to have the side seams taken in a little bit. I have enough of the fabric to make the bodice for this dress. And I think in, if I do that, it will get worn frequently because I love these colors. I love this print. I just don't really wear skirts. So yeah. Chiana does not approve of this nonsense. You go very well with hot pink though, darling. So this is actually the same kind of thing. I made this, it's a three quarter circle skirt with a button up front. I love it. I have enough fabric to make a shirt to go with it. I don't think I'm ever gonna wear it like that. So I think I need to take this down, take the waistband off and make it into a dress because it will get worn as a dress. I have never worn this and the colors are absolutely perfect for me. And also it's got lemons all over it, so it's part of the citrus collection. And I do, like I say, have enough fabric to make a bodice or make a shirt to go with this skirt. I know I'm gonna make, wear it more as a dress. I know I am. So yeah, this one's another one that needs to get taken down, taken apart to be put back together to get worn more often. Again, another example of an absolutely beautiful border print that I love. I've made a pleated and gathered skirt with it. I've never worn it. That is 
because I would wear this more as a dress. So again, it's another one that needs to get taken down to the sewing room. I need to find some white quilting cotton that matches this white or matches as well with this white as possible. I might even play around with maybe a black waistband and black straps that could look quite funky or just completely white bodice with the all the drama and the print at the bottom but again nice bold colors actually i think white all the way over because black is definitely not one of my colors love this need to rescue it need to make it so it gets worn same deal with this one. This is my 16 paneled How to Chevron on a Stripe circle skirt. It's gorgeous. I've never worn it. I did actually make a top out of the coordinating quilting cotton, which was just the plain poppies. And I do have a lot of both of these fabrics left, enough that I think I could make a bodice that would look better with this. And again, make it so that this gets worn because I just don't wear skirts. I need to remember this. I keep making skirts. I just don't wear them. Again, another gorgeous quilting cotton print. I had made a dress out of this, which I've done a sew along for. I had a bunch of the stripe left. I attempted to kind of like pattern match and they're not completely even because the stripes aren't completely even, but I think you get away with it. This is a three quarter circle skirt with eight panels in it. I have enough of this fabric left again to make some kind of a bodice with this this will get worn like that as opposed to this so it's another one i'm going to be taking a lot down to the sewing room aren't i <laughs> it'll be fine it'll be totally fine you may recognize this one as well this is the five panel circle skirt video spoonflower sponsored that video and gave me this cotton sateen which is absolutely gorgeous. I've remade this because the first time I made it way too big for me. It now fits nice and loosely which is quite pleasant. I've never worn it. I need to realize that skirt making is not a good idea for me. I really 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 ought to just turn this into a dress and I have enough fabric left over to do that so this is another this giant pile of things that need to be turned into dresses. I'm gonna have to do that one month of like rectifying my mistakes aren't I? <laughs> Okay, this is like a micro velvet. It's a polyester fabric. I got it from one of the stalls at the Knitting and Stitching show. It's a three quarter circle skirt. I love it. I wore this to watch Brian Cox in the NEC arena. I don't have enough fabric to do anything to make it like a wintry bodice because this is a very kind of like wintry heavyweight fabric. But I think I'm gonna try and keep this one, try and style it up in the cooler months to be something that gets worn because it feels amazing and it's beautiful and it really deserves to get worn so keeping this one although I do need to work out how to actually wear it. This one I made a little jacket that I have already given to my niece to go with it. I have never worn it. It's too dark and not vibrant enough for me I think. I don't think mum will like this because it's got purple in it so I think this one is just going to get donated. Scuba skirt. I never wear this. Ever. I think mum needs to try this on because she might like these colours. Another scuba skirt. Crepe. It's lovely. The colours are too muted. I think this is a much more mum palette so again I'm gonna let her try this one on. I absolutely love this fabric this is the butterick 6380 skirt i'm gonna let mum try this on and see if she likes it because i have bought more of this fabric in fact i have probably 14 meters of this fabric in my stash to make a much fuller skirt i made this one because that was all i had left over and what would fit in the pattern on the on the scraps that were left over i have enough to make a fuller skirt with a waistcoat that goes with it so mum can have this in the waistcoat that currently is made if she wants to. Oh, I love this fabric. It is a Tilio linen that the very lovely Candy bought me. I had a meter and a half of it. I, for the longest time, did not know what to do with it and just kept stashing it and stashing it and then worked out that that skirt would fit the 6380, but it's way, way too big on me. And again, I think this is more of an autumn color palette than it is a spring. So I'm gonna let mum try this on. If she likes it, she can borrow it. If not, I will try and take it in so that it fits me at my current weight. Awesome, this fits really well. Natida sent me this fabric, keeping this one. 
didn't have enough to make a bodice or a shirt to go with it which did, did make me sad but I will try and make something colourful that I can wear with this on the top half shirt wise so that it does get worn but this one's staying. I do really like this one. I love the Cobra Corsage and the Mulberry colorway. I don't think it actually is very good on me. And given the size of this, I'm gonna see if mum likes it and wants to borrow it. I have made a dress and a brouillet shirt, so I won't be getting rid of this completely from my wardrobe, but I think it's a very much more mum color than it is a me color. So having it in her wardrobe probably would mean that it would get more worn more. I absolutely love this skirt. It's got a really, like interesting embossed print on it. It's scuba. I'm gonna keep it because I know it fits. I've worn it a couple of times. I need to work out what to wear it with. Hopefully I'll be seeing Nicola soon for some styling advice. So this could be one of the pieces that I get help, get her to help me style. Damn it. <laughs> I knew, I knew this was gonna happen. This is the 1743. I absolutely love this skirt. I love the giant pockets on it. This was one of my most successful makes from the year that I made it, but it is way too big for me now. I've already given one mum one of my denim skirts. I'm gonna see if she likes this one. Hopefully she does, because I've got a few that she can borrow. If not, I'm gonna put them in my bigger garment box for future proofing the wardrobe fingers crossed i never need them oh wow i can get it over my hips yeah definitely lost weight vintage absolutely gorgeous the wonderful anna magically fixed this for me because it had a giant stain on it this one is adjustable so it doesn't matter what size your waist is it will fit you guys have asked for a tutorial for a skirt like this which will be coming at some point this year love this ah, love this keeping this obviously this one's not too big. I am so over the moon. It's the Raw Silk Crim Stitch Fabrics. It's a three quarter circle skirt. I have a matching waistcoat that goes with this. Still haven't really worn it out of the house, but I didn't know what else to do with it other than make a skirt because of the sh lack of fabric that I had. Yeah, keeping this. This also fits like easily fits when I made this it was way too tight oh I love it it's part of the savannah collection there's this color coral in the hummingbirds and some of the leaves I'm gonna keep this one as a skirt and try and wear it with some of my savannah tops that I have made I've got t-shirts and a couple of like hunter tanks and the 6563 t-shirt so I think this just needs to be pulled out and worn now that I know it fits yay oh and again it goes over my butt love it yay this fits as well because it didn't for a very long time this is what i'm going to be modeling my dior silks on this is a silk burnout fabric from monsoon it's a half circle skirt without a waistband which i'm not a huge fan of but i think having said all the things that i've said i'm going to make my dior silks into dresses but with this kind of a skirt on it because it works so so well for a border print and i just i love this again this is something that i need to work out how to style so i wear it more often because it is beautiful the crazy holston skirt i still don't think that this is good on me because i mean yeah <laughs> That's way too big. But now that I have made my blocks, I wanna go back and do this design starting with my block because I think that the design is absolutely intriguing except for those annoying corner points that you can't French seam. <laughs> but yeah, I, I do wanna do this one again. This one, however, is not gonna survive in my wardrobe. I don't think mum's gonna like it because of the color. So this one, I think with its waistcoat is gonna go to be donated if I can get out of it. This is too big for me now, but I am gonna keep it because the fabric was an amazing gift and it went through a couple of iterations to get to this point. So I'm gonna put it in my to be future-proofed wardrobe just in case I put some back weight back on box because I have that. I think this is going to be a bunch of sad times. I'd run out of skirt hook and eyes when I made this, so it's just regular hook and eyes, so they need to be replaced, but it is too big for me. I actually 
<laughs> love this fabric so much that I went back and bought more of it to make jeans with but I think I'm gonna go back and make another one of these skirts that actually fits me at my current weight and if mum doesn't want this because she might not because of the pockets I will keep it for future proofing my wardrobe but it does need to have proper hooks and eyes put on at the waistband because these ones are annoying can I squidge squidge out of it without breaking the zip oh yes red denim one same problem I really really hope this fits still yes it does I know the waistcoat that I've made is too big but this skirt this is a three-quarter circle skirt at the Brie Hour wool I have more of this I'm gonna make a jacket I'm gonna make some trousers I'm gonna make another waistcoat that fits I know I don't wear separates very often <laughs> but I, I just I love the idea of a four-piece suit so uh, I'm glad this still fits yay black skirt same as the red and the green one too big see if mum wants it battery's dying two secs i need to go and get a battery don't move you have power okay another one seven four three that doesn't fit i actually discovered that i didn't really enjoy wearing this one either and i did buy more fabric to buy, wear, make trousers out of which i don't think i would wear either so i think i'm gonna make a pinafore dress out of that for layering in the cooler months love the print skirt is not for me oh wow i can never remember the number of this skirt but when i first made it i completely thought i'd mucked up well i had mucked up i I traced the too small size it's now perfect on me especially as it's got belt loops so i can cinch it at the waist a little bit because it is a bit big but i love this color technically this is definitely an autumn color not a spring color but i think if i wear it strategically i'll get away with it i've also made a looping jacket out of this fabric so i'm gonna just pretend that I get away with it mm. see this one I can get away with but it is too big quite considerably too big but I made this one to replace this one which I was gonna go donate and I'm really glad that I didn't this is the Lena crepe this is the viscose I still have eight meters of this viscose hanging around in my stash for future proofing my wardrobe because I love this print if you hadn't noticed I'm gonna try this one on again because when I made this this didn't fit and I think I was even skinnier than I am now so this might be one that mum borrows because yeah, I know mum likes this print too I think this might zip up oh my gosh <laughs> this is never when i first made this this is never zipped up oh well this is good one for me one for mum awesome this is why i can't have skirt length zips in my things because they don't go over my hips okay so that's it for the stuff that was hanging up i did get the box of vintage things out to try on again because i'm hoping some of them might fit and this is why i didn't sell them i really don't think this one's going to because i think this one has a yeah this one has a 24 inch waist i do not think this is going to fit oh definitely attacking me as well we're only an inch out of this fitting you know the corsets i'm making if i wore that this would then fit so i'm gonna hang this back up in my wardrobe because i think it might get worn this winter i love this skirt oh again we're like that that would do up and i mean just hand painted just beautifulness it will be super tight but again corsets <laughs> this one uh super tight i had it altered to fit me because it was too big again it's a print i love i'm gonna keep it i think i'm gonna put it back in the box though because it's not even close to fitting i would definitely have to be wearing a corset definitely oh yay oh yay i love this it's got little diamantes all over in the middle of like the mandelas and i wore this to my granddad's 90th birthday party and it was the first vintage piece i bought in person and i got it from bieber loves in camden market i'm so pleased that it fits it is like i can still get like my whole hand down there so this one like really fits that's so awesome yay <laughs> oh yay i'm so glad i didn't sell these again fits comfortably can get a whole hand down there so you could definitely eat dinner in this one <gasps> yay oh <laughs> it's gonna be a common theme 
Oh, again, this one will do up, but it would be super, super tight. So again, this is probably going to be one that gets worn with a corset. I am going to put it back in the cupboard though, because it will get worn because it's gorgeous. I've got soutache and embroidery detail, no, soutache and crystal detail around the bottom. It's velvet, love this. But yeah, <laughs> definitely need the corset on. Just that little bit of reduction would make this comfortable. I do think it's kind of hilarious that the only thing that's going back in my two small box is the thing that I had altered to fit me because it was way too big. This is an H&M skirt. It's really lovely. That's why I'm keeping it. I love the print. Maybe it'll come out for when I do wear corsets because it would probably fit quite comfortably then. Maybe I should just hang it up. Yeah, I'm just going to hang it up. So my two small box is empty. Yay! I have six skirts that I love that I'm going to try and turn into dresses because they will get worn more as dresses than they ever have been as skirts. Five ready to wear skirts that fit and that I love and that I'm going to keep. I think this might be the only ready to wear I still own. I think I have a few jumpers and shirts, but yeah, I think majority of my wardrobe is now me made. Six vintage items that either always fit or now fit again, which I'm very excited about and so glad that I didn't sell these. Nine me made skirts that are gonna remain skirts and I am going to try and work out things to make to wear with them so that they actually do see the light of day because they are gorgeous. 13 skirts that are too big for me now, so mum's gonna get to try them on. If she wants them, she can have them. If not, they're gonna go into my future proof proofing, slightly too big for me box just in case. And then the final skirt that's gonna go straight into that box because I really don't think mum's gonna want a red tartan skirt. Maybe I should let her try it on. Yeah, that's the last piece. There is so much room behind you in the wardrobe because that's where you're living at the moment, currently in the wardrobe. And I'm so pleased that I've done this. I know that these will all get worn way more as dresses. So the inspiration to actually get these made into dresses is fairly strong because they're all gorgeous and all very, very summer appropriate. So that's probably gonna end up being a video in and of itself. I have a whole three meters of dresses to do. I have a meter of shirts and then I have my trousers and jacket cupboard to do as well and coats which live downstairs. So I hope you've enjoyed this video because there's going to be more along this theme coming up very shortly. But if you have enjoyed this video you might want to check out this one here.